Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am not going to discuss any new concept related to data engineering domain or not going to show you some programming concepts, but rather I am going to give you a very important update. Okay, in many platforms like in YouTube comment section or in LinkedIn or in Telegram, you people asked me this particular topic lot of time. Okay like to add a playlist for snowflake okay could you please add a playlist for snowflake only it will be very helpful okay like that lot of comments i got for a dedicated snowflake roadmap and playlist so that in a single place you can get all those concepts and go through that before interview process or if you are starting your career in snowflake domain okay and that's why i thought to bring this particular topic okay even in telegram also i got lot of messages and that's why here is our snowflake roadmap what i created okay so this particular link of this document i'll be sharing in the description box of this particular video you can access this particular link from there okay so just i will go through a little bit on this particular document so here the course name is rocking snowflake with aws it is completely free just some prerequisites are there okay you must have a snowflake account maybe for 30 days trial you can open a snowflake account and you should have a aws account also most of the experiments will not cost a very good amount of money but some experiment like with aws emr or aws glue when you will be using that time you might be getting charged some amount okay and then stable internet connection also you require to have a good hands-on okay basic sql and python knowledge is required but that is not at all mandatory and obviously most important is you should be having first for new learning okay because this is cloud domain continuously it is evolving new new features are coming so i will be continuously updating this particular roadmap so that you will be also up to date okay and you can also share your thoughts and maybe you want a video on a particular topic related to snowflake you can post your request in the comment section so that i can come up with that whenever i am free to make that particular video okay so here if you see i majorly classified four sections first one is snowflake essential concepts where first we st will start with introduction architecture fundamental sql concepts nothing new just you click on this documentation if you need some specific function you can just search and uh, read on demand purpose okay and then some specific sql concepts which are very important with respect to interview process those i already have covered in my youtube video so those links i shared not only that i will be adding some more concepts which i will be continuously updating here okay transaction commit and rollback again very important topic with respect to sql given right then stored procedure concepts how to write a simple stored procedure with javascript from there how to use for loop while loop how to iterate in rows how to iterate in columns all these concepts i have covered okay then user defined functions till now i have not uploaded video on it so there are some specific topics like user defined functions snowflake change data capture okay zero copy cloning so for some of these kind of topics i have not uh, uploaded any video so only i shared the documentation link but eventually i'll be adding the videos and then i'll be updating here also okay so like that snowflake fundamental concepts are there and after that security and access control right that is another very important topic if you are looking for admin role and all this particular sector can help you a lot obviously this is not sufficient there are lot more things like snowflake private link setup adding a single sign on all those stuff will be coming but maybe i'll be covering in our in our upcoming videos okay as of now how to work with roles and users how to secure your snowflake account with network policies okay by white listing some particular ips right those kind of stuff you can do server side encryption file reading that also explained and multi-factor authentication using uh, duo app okay right and then here comes snowflake with aws services with s3 with ec2 with lambda with blue or emr and then there is a very popular etl tool called talent so how to work with snowflake and talent both etl and elt nowadays elt is also becoming very popular which is extract load transform that is first we extract the data from source system then we load it in our destination that can be data lake or data warehouse something and then we apply transformation on that data okay to make the whole uh, data pipeline process faster okay so both of them how to implement in uh, snowflake with talent I have explained then here end to end projects okay when you are appearing for interview process then to make your resume stronger or to explain an interview this particular 
part is very important okay so end to end project the interfere will be looking for so how to create end to end pipeline for streaming data capture using aws kinesis family and snow pipe that i have explained maybe natural language processing if you are interested in ai domain you can opt for this particular project and all projects are from scratch it is not like i have started from middle and i just explained on a very bird's eye view level and i have not went deeper all these projects i have explained from scratch and i coded everything from scratch explained everything in detail and obviously you can ask if you have some doubt you can ask in the comment section i'll be getting back to you asap okay then cdc cdc is basically very important topic in data engineering change data capture right how to do create cdc pipeline using bin log from mysql rds to snowflake that one also you can take as a end to end project so these end to end projects are there apart from that obviously the common migration project from our rdbms to snowflake if you are using scoop or something that kind of projects also you can do and if you go through this kind of projects then obviously you will be getting some idea how to create new projects and with the concepts of this particular projects you can build your own projects okay and then the last section is interview preparation okay what are the questions very frequently asked in interview process like what is the difference between schema on read and schema on write how you can implement schema on read in snowflake what is the difference between union and uniannal okay this particular question very important i have an existing table i dropped the table and i created a new table same table name as of our old table and then i loaded some data also in that newly created table now is there any way to get back the old table data in snowflake very important question asked in many interview process related to snowflake related data engineering role okay i have explained in depth how to implement this okay then is it mandatory to create integration object or external stage before executing copy command this kind of questions not only that i'll be adding some more so this is what i wanted to give you an update so you can go through this if you are liking this particular road map and the videos and the explanation you can share with someone who really need to enter into the snowflake market okay so i hope this particular structured document will help you to kick start your journey in snowflake or if you are already in snowflake how to go to advanced concepts for that you can refer this particular document okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all the latest videos thank you